नमस्कार हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नाइन्थ एपिसोड ऑफ सीजन थ्री ऑफ माय इन प्रोस्पेरिटी हम अशोक व्यास प्रोग्राम डायरेक्टर विद आई टी एंड फाउंडर ऑफ इनसाइट फॉर क्रिएटिविटी टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन विद परेश जी अबाउट फैक्टर्स दैट प्रीवेंट पीपल फ्रॉम बींग फाइनेंशियली सिक्योर फॉर रिटायरमेंट परेश शाह इज द सी ई ओ ऑफ परेश शाह फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज ही इज अ सर्टिफाइड फाइनेंशियल प्लानर एंड वेल्थ स्ट्रेटेजिस्ट and has served for last 21 years he has helped uh, individuals as well as uh, businesses co-create innovative financial strategies he is a licensed cpe presenter uh, he has educated cpas as they guide their clients on investments life disability and long term care insurance he specializes in pension and profit sharing plans asset protection estate planning and business succession planning Parish ji graduated as a chemical engineer. Yes, he was an honors graduate from the prestigious Indian Institute of Technology at Kharagpur, India. He is a 2016 honoree for Long Island Business News Leaders and Diversity Awards. Parish ji resides in the town of Hicksville in Long Island um, with his wife Shimul and their son Shamik. And I have the pleasure of welcoming uh, Parish ji again to Money and Prosperity. Namaste. Thank you, Ashok ji. Thank you for the warm welcome as usual. And I, you know, let me just add here sure. that you know, um, this is the ninth time you are saying this because it's the ninth episode of Money and Prosperity, and every time it sounds better and better. So keep keep saying it every time in the same way, and you know. Wonderful. So I think today is a very bright day, and we will be learning uh, something that would brighten up uh, the future prospects of our connection with money and prosperity. and parish you while i uh, am tempted to recompliment you but i'll hold that for some other time <laughs> some other time <laughs> and last time we were speaking parish ji um, ab- about what is happening around us as americans begin to retire uh, as a financial planner uh, can you point out the factors that are causing these challenges people want to relax and there is no time they still have the pressure of making more and more money to survive uh actually there are several factors which cause people to be anxious about their retirement people to feel that they do not have enough money for their retirement in fact one study has shown that the fear of uh fear of uh, running out of money is probably one of the biggest fears of people in retirement it's not the fear of dying because that is an inevitability but having said that the real challenge that has come to the modern family today is longevity and let, let me take a little time to explain to you what i mean in, in the let's say let's talk about somebody in the 60s or the 70s and at that time let's say he was 50 years old so it was expected that he would live and work for another uh, li- live and work for another 10 to 15 years retire at either 60 or 65 and then by the time you are 75 most most uh, most people would pass away so the time that you need for planning or for income in retirement is 10 years you know or 15 years at maximum and this was happening for most people now that is not the case anymore a person who is retiring today and if he is 65 the so to say the 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 retirement time may be as long as 30 years and this 30 year time span can cause a lot of challenging that means even a large pool of money which a person might have and he is expected to live of that large pool of money may become challenging because just because of this length of time uh there are so many factors that would affect it like like uh, market risk that means if the money is invested in some kind of stock market it might go up and down there could be interest rate risk you know like some people may have invested their money into bank cds and if they've invested when the interest rate was 5 they thought they were getting a certain amount of income then 10 years later that interest rate has dropped to 1% so those those problems the chance of those problems happening multiply because of the longevity factor so modern science has has been a boon in helping us get longevity 
But that also means that there are new and challenging disorders that are creeping in as people live longer. Uh, you may have heard a statistic that one in four Americans over the age of 90 currently suffers from Alzheimer's or dementia. And there are 60,000 Americans today over the age of 100. So that the healthcare costs so just to, get added also yeah, onto. Just, just to be clear, uh, I want you to repeat what did you say 60,000 Americans above the age 100? Yes. That is the yeah. number today that we have uh, 60,000 people who are over the age of 100. And they would definitely have health related issues. Maybe, maybe not just today, maybe for the past 10 years, you right, know. Right. And, and one in four when they were above the age of 90. So all those people, this is just above the age of 100. But if we take those above the age of 90, one in four has Alzheimer's or dementia. Mm -hmm. And some of these health challenges are pretty extended and protracted causing a lot of money to be paid for their health care and taking care and keeping them well. So, yes, we have longevity, but that has created a situation where financial challenges and running out of money seems to happen a lot more easily. Absolutely. Um, it's no brainer actually. If you live longer and you have concerns like dementia also, you mentioned you need to be taken care of. Now, Add to it uh, the other factors like interest rate changes, inflation and longevity are also somewhere correlated. Now, if, if we try to understand uh, a little bit more on this space, how they overplay in terms of their interrelationship. Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting um, overlap or, or understanding of uh, inflation and uh, longevity as a as and how because of longevity the inflation factor really kicks into planning and causes challenges to give you an uh, to tell you you know uh, i had i had talked about this on the show earlier and you may remember that in 1980 the cost of a first class postage stamp was 10 cents Today we are uh, we are o over 47 cents. So, what are we talking about? That the basic cost of living has gone up four and a half times over this period of 35, 37 years. Now, what does that mean in terms of uh, income or, or retirement? Say a person retires uh, today and has 30 years to live. And just to clarify one more thing, that this implies that it's a 3% rate, re uh, rate of inflation. So, you know, inflation is like one of these silent taxes, you know, you don't really see it in motion. Like, if you're buying milk at $1 and some days later you're buying uh, milk at $1.03, you don't really notice it. But in 10 years, that $1 becomes $1.30. Now even that is not $1.35, even that is not much of a challenge. But when we are talking about a, a 30 year time frame with 3% every year, then a person who retires uh, something which is costing $10 will, cost, will need $30 three times the money 30 years later. So a person who is retiring thinking that he, has, he needs $100,000 in retirement or $50,000 in retirement. 50,000 person will need $150,000 after, after 30 years. So, initially when somebody retired, he planned only for 50,000 with his need going up by to about 65,000 or 70,000 over a 10 year absolutely. period. Now 50,000 has to go to 150,000 and the money has to last. So, this has become a very challenging factor. Inflation has become… But you are scaring a lot of us and actually uh, even when you think about planning and uh, the projected amount that you feel would take care of your needs at that time uh, may not be sufficient when you are actually facing that need. So, with this in mind, what do you suggest a person should do uh, so that uh, he can make his retirement actually secure? So. The, the traditional method of financial planning, which was to that during your accumulation phase, you took some risks and you invested in growth products. And then eventually you had a pool of money 
that you would invest into just banks or fixed income so that you could draw off the income and live off that income. That model is no longer applicable because even if you have a million dollars and you got $50,000 as income 5%, that five, 10 years later you are going to need 65, but 30 years you are going to need 150,000 and 50,000 is not going to be sufficient. So you need to have a, a multifaceted approach. You need to have different categories of, 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 of assets or ownerships inside your plan and that can be stocks, bonds, uh, it can be some kind of fixed income products like fixed income generation products like annuities, you, you will need some products like, uh, uh, like REITs, you know, real estate investment trust. These are a variety of different products and when you mix all of them together, that's when you're able to have this path in which you can get rising income every year while keeping your capital sustainable to a large extent to deliver this money. Because otherwise the chances that you will run out of money are, are very are very easy and, and can slip very quickly, you know. So now the chances um, are not very promising the way they are. That means something needs to be done. Uh, and that is where your expertise uh, would be probably helpful. So how to build the plan where you can offset uh, all these potential yeah. uh, challenges and variations? So what we do is we, we take into account what is the available, what is the end goal, and based on what is available and what is the end goal, we create a, a plan that can keep up for income and retirement. Just to give you one example, you know, earlier I spoke about REITs, which are real estate investment trusts. Now, real estate, maybe that, that can throw up 3% income, or but, but income in real estate, that tends to go up every year due to increasing rents. So, maybe that may be a good way in which you can have a portion of your money in some of these real estate type of investments that the income keeps on increasing every year. That, that's just, I'm not saying put all your money into, into re REITs, but just a, this is just one example of what can be done to include an asset that keeps up pace with, your, with, your, uh, with the rate at which the, the expenses are rising. So it is not 2 plus 2 Pareji as I, we hear from you, it appears there are many multiple factors which comes into play uh, at the time when we really need the kind of financial support for us to live comfortably after retiring. Now there are many questions but today uh, time wouldn't permit us uh, to continue our conversation Pariji. but we'll talk again next time and in the meantime I want to share this uh, valuable phone number that you may want to remember if you want to reach out for getting into the nuances of planning for your financial future. Uh, financial professional Paresh Shah can be reached at 516 Two six eight three four four six and I repeat that number five one six two six eight three four four six and that repetition was uh, in response to the initial uh, <laughs> complimentary words coming from Parish. <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, thank, thank you, Ashokji. Yeah. Thank you for all the lovely questions and it's great sharing this information. Same here. Um, stay healthy, uh, stay happy, and stay financially fit. Thank you, Paraji, and thank you all of you for being with us.